there's so many videos out there and the content is all over the place. What advice could you give young people who are up and coming, who maybe don't have a great film or video background, to just have their videos have content and meaning and just inspire? Well, the only piece of advice I could, I could have is uh, if you are into filmmaking nowadays, and it used to be the same way before, just have courage to your own dreams have courage to your own vision so um, nothing should deter you uh, and of course uh, completely radically new venues to release a film through the internet dvds uh, pay-per-view you don't know what what's coming at us it's at the horizon but um, the landscape is shifting completely and i think uh, young filmmakers who, who have something of substance in their hands will always find an outlet for it, no matter where, where it is going to shift technically. Tell us maybe the future of you online or on Twitter, how are you going to use it? Well, I personally do not participate in Twitter. It's, uh, it's too quick, too shallow, the kind of discourse. Yeah, I'm always still into real human discourse. I'm, I'm one, probably the last holdout, who still doesn't have a cell phone. I want to meet you in person. You see what I mean? No, nice I, to meet you. Yes. And of course, sometimes I, I, I do phone calls, but I, I'm not reachable all the time, which is nice. You have, to, you have to find me in the lobby of a theater, and you find me. Um, but uh, there are completely new forms of communication out there, whether it be Twitter or blogs or uh, internet communities. We don't know exactly in which direction it, it, it will ultimately go, but fantastic possibilities and, and we should not ignore them. However, I, I keep warning, uh, do not lose out of sight human discourse should always be human, should always have a certain depth, a certain uh, passion for each other. And you do not find passion on Twitter. It's just Twittering and, and the quick uh, notes floating around, yeah. I love your documentary, Grizzly Man. I'm making a documentary right now. Do you have any tips for me? Well, for, for doing a documentary like uh, Grizzly Man, you do not need any technical tricks. You do not you do not need any fancy stuff. There's a tremendous story out there. And if you have a story, it doesn't matter whether the person is famous or not. If, if you touch, uh, if, if you have a deep insight into the human soul somewhere out there, it will touch other people as well. So don't be afraid whether, whether your person is, is well known or not. So what? So what? Uh, do something where, um, where you look deep into the heart of men. Do you believe in UFOs? Do I? Do you believe in UFOs? In what? In UFO. Ah, okay. Do I, leave, do I believe in UFOs? Simple answer, no. And uh, I can uh, answer it with a question as well. Why is it that three million Americans had encounters with uh, aliens? And why is it that about 400,000 women had contact with aliens, were even abducted and gang raped? Why is it that most of them are obese, over 350, 350 pounds? And why is it that we have never heard of any such case in Ethiopia? So I answer it back with a question. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. My name is davidjr.com.